Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to clinic management system tutorials today is our lecture number 12 and in today's lecture I'm going to demonstrate the disease window and the symptoms window uh, in the previous lecture we have uh, corrected the errors in the patient appointment window and now uh, in today's lecture we have to create these windows and the crude operations based on these windows and I will show you the uh, doctor uh, doctor checkup window also uh, in this particular tutorial so let's start and have a look what we have today all right guys so uh, let me first show you what I have created today for you people so uh, if you notice in the previous window in the previous lecture we have uh, done till there and then uh, I have created these four buttons also the checkup the turn screen the disease and the symptoms so let me first demonstrate the disease window so when you click here and you notice here there is only one uh, text box that is the name of the disease and when you click the add button the control is added and you click the save button there is nothing happening okay so I have to do the code on in, in the back end and today's lecture and then go to back and then the symptoms window here I have the symptom and then the particular disease uh, that symptom belongs to which disease okay so now let me demonstrate the tables I will I will uh, definitely tell you about these windows later on okay so let us go to the database and close this okay so database here if you see on the left hand side uh, if I refresh my tables you can notice I have created two tables that is symptoms and that is the diseases in the diseases table I have these two columns the disease ID that is of uh, integer data type and it's a primary key and uh, the disease name that is varchar and it is unique in nature okay so uh, let me show you the queries of creation of table let me zoom in and minimize this so that's my disease uh, table query and that's my insert disease query and that's my update disease query and then my delete disease query and then my uh, particular uh, get disease query okay and now one query I must also add here is okay not I'm not going to add anything so these are my queries for this disease table and then I have also uh, created the symptoms table so inside symptoms tables you you see here the symptom ID that is tiny integer big sorry big integer and then primary key also and then the symptom name and uh, the DID ID so one thing that I must do here is uh, let me go to the symptoms table because I have uh, made this symptom name unique so that will create a problem for me so let us go to the design and instead of making this name unique I am removing that uniqueness from the name of the symptom okay so for that purpose I have to open the relationship manager where I can see the relationship and the keys and the indexes okay so table designer first select here and then table designer and then indexes and keys here you can see I have created the unique key as the symptom name so I am removing this unique key okay uh, the symptom name is now no longer unique in fact instead of this I am creating a procedure here at the bottom create sorry I wanted to create a constraint so alter table and the table name is symptoms okay add constraint and then constraint name should let's say unique underscore symptom and disease so on one disease the similar symptom symptom cannot be added okay so that's what I'm trying to do here and then the unique keyword and then inside the round brackets right here the symptom underscore name column and then the symptom underscore disease ID so when these two things are uh, added by the user again similar things it cannot be added okay so on on one disease no same symptom can be added so uh, this is the better way of uniqueness inside our symptoms table so I am adding this constraint inside my alter table okay uh, it is saying that symptoms does not exist in the current context uh, okay uh, let me copy the name maybe the spelling mistake yes spelling mistake was there and now execute commands completed successfully now let me show you the uh, symptoms table so that's my symptoms table you cannot use this I have removed this one now it's fine and then I have added a constraint uh, you have seen uh, a while before and then that's my insert sim symptoms query uh, procedure and this is my update symptoms procedure 
and then I hope you know all these insert updates and delete so I'm just letting you know that what is this and how things coming so delete symptoms and then this is my get symptoms and because I have created the relationship between the disease and the symptom because one disease can have many symptoms that's why uh, the disease is the primary key table and the symptoms is the foreign key table so I have picked up all the data uh, with respect to the IDs and the disease and the symptoms and the inner join is applied with respect to the common column between the two tables that is the disease ID and the uh, disease ID inside the symptoms table okay so this is also I have created and then uh, get symptoms with respect to disease uh, uh, from this procedure all the symptoms will be fetched out and this is the same procedure in fact one thing is added here that is the disease ID so based on the disease only that symptoms will be picked up uh, that that disease belong uh, pertains okay and then you have the check symptom exist procedure I have already created this procedure because let's say if I wanted to check whether the symptom exists already or not so you can check via this okay and one more thing that you can add here uh, let's say comma and you can give here another thing that is that this is the name of the symptom and then the disease okay so at that di at this disease that symptom exists or not so where's this dot symptom and s dot symptom id so you have to write here s dot s underscore disease id so uh, instead of writing this let me pick up this join and add here okay inner join diseases on this 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 criteria where symptom name is equals to at the rate name and d dot name disease name is equals to at the rate disease okay so disease and i am writing here disease uh, that is varchar also 100 and then um, everything is fine uh, do not worry about these lines because i am doing all the thing in one particular window that's why these lines are appearing here so create procedure check symptom exit i have already created this procedure so i am altering this procedure and i am executing this right now okay it said that it does not exist okay maybe i, I haven't I created that let me write let me check execute look commands completed successfully now it's fine uh, so my check symptoms uh, exist query is now executed now check disease exist is also there so whatever the name of the disease i will pass it will check first uh, whether the disease exists or not so execute this also uh, look it's already created so I have forget it to execute that so all things are now executed successfully uh, and you can verify it from the programmability the stored procedures okay so update disease update symptom insert disease insert symptom delete disease delete symptom delete disease get symptoms so get symptoms get symptoms with respect to disease and uh, get get diseases we have also yes okay so all things are there and check uh, check symptoms check disease so already things are now created now let's go to the code and let's go to these windows symptoms window the procedure is the same uh, how I have created these windows you know very well because you are following the previous lectures just by inheriting the sample 2 class okay now um, one more thing that I have to do here is enable false by default this disease should enable be enabled for because you have to press the add button and then click here first of all we have to add the diseases so I am closing the symptoms window first and uh, open the disease window here when you are pressing the add button it is working and then uh, you have to use the save button code and the delete and the view button so let's go to the sample 2 and then open the class and what we have to copy we have to copy these and let's go to the disease code and here double click so you that you can generate the load event and then after that you can paste and instead of virtual you will replace it to override in the current document so four replacements done now what you can do if main class dot check controls and then left panel dot count I hope you know what is this in the previous lectures I have de mentioned and explained it in detail so I am checking my controls whether the controls are blank or not with the help of this check control method and then uh, right here fields with red are mandatory okay that's the case and then 
uh, one more thing I must mention here is the error type uh, the message type that is error now what what else we have to do we have to check whether we have in the edit mode or we are in the save mode so if edit is equals to equal to zero then come inside else uh, edit else if uh, you have to write here if edit is equals to equals to one then come inside so that's for save okay and that's for update okay so make it comment now it's fine so in order to save what you have to do we have to go to the roles window and simply copy this code okay simply copy this code and paste it in the disease at zero so you have created a hash table and hash table should be imported using system dot collections yes I have pressed control pressed control dot so that the name space is added at the top now uh, let us go to the insert uh, disease so insert disease we have this parameter copy it and I have to pass this parameter here okay and here you have to write the disease text so do, um, do I have the name written no I haven't so disease text specify that disease text remove this R and the length of the is, is, is 100 okay it's fine now um, go to the disease and write here disease text okay uh, now what you have to do you have to apply the crude so uh, using crude okay for that that's my module that I have created so uh, crude dot insert now what I'm going to insert insert diseases so copy this insert disease and paste and then uh, the data will be inserted okay and then right here disease text add it successfully to the system then reset and then instead of load rules uh, you have to copy that method load rules and paste it here inside diseases and here you have to uh, make this load diseases and you can change here disease id gv and then the second column name is the disease gv so these are my two columns and instead of get roles you what you will write here get diseases so copy it look two columns id and disease so first i have passed id and then disease and then that's my stored procedure so load diseases so what i can write here load diseases that's my function so after insertion this will happen but before insertion i must check whether the uh, disease exists or not so uh, though it is not required here because the error will automatically generated that you have already added the disease so uh, it's better to avoid that right now if it is required then I will do the check uh, that whether the disease exists or not whether uh, by default I have made the disease name unique so you could you you are not SQL will not allow you to enter the duplicate disease again and again now so uh, that's my insert okay and then uh, if you are in update mode so what you what sh what should happen uh, you have to copy the code again in update mode you have this code copy it and come here on disease and here you have to paste it so instead of name you have to copy this disease and paste it here and then check the update procedures so disease and the DID in fact copy this name because maybe the spelling mistake so you have to be very careful and it is DID and here you have to write the disease text and then the disease ID so I don't have the disease ID so let me create the disease ID that is integer uh, disease ID and here you have to pass disease ID okay so um, disease ID now save it and then copy it and then paste it and then load disease so all things are done already but you you are just changing the things here so update rules in fact of update rules what do you have to write update disease copy it and then paste it same that's it so my insert and my update procedure is done now delete so let's go to the delete and that's my delete so copy it and come here and paste it 
Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. So what's the delete? That's my DID, I think. Yes. That's my DID. Yes. And copy this delete disease. And then uh, instead of this, write here this. And here you write disease ID. So that's my disease ID. Okay. And then um, copy the disease name text yeah and paste it and here you write load diseases I hope it is clear to everyone now um, let's do some other task after delete you have to load the record on the view button also and then save and I'm not going to search right now so that's all okay one thing that it is that is remaining that is the grid click so when you go to the click event cell click come inside go to your roles and copy this and paste it here simple okay so now what you can do you can write here disease ID GV so disease ID GV and here you can write uh, okay let me remove that technical quotes now disease ID GV and that's the my that's my mistake here I have to write disease ID so that the value will be picked up from the grid view column to the disease table uh, ID variable and then uh, you have the disease text and then here you specify disease okay so disease gv save it so that's all uh, let's check and perform some insertion oscillation and deletion in the uh, delete disease uh, window okay so login disease and when you press save the validations are appear applying and when you click add and let me add a disease let's say fever and save it so fever added successfully it is loaded here when you click here it is applying here when you click edit and when I change something and when I click save fever updated displayed and when you want it to delete are you sure you want it to delete yes data deleted and it is vanished okay let me write here cuff okay and then add so it is added so one operation is added successfully let me add the cuff again C A U G H and then save look it shows you an error that duplicate is can you cannot insert the duplicate value I hope it is clear to everyone okay so uh, same disease will not be added again that's the limit uh, SQL uh, part now uh, let's go to the symptoms window and we have to load the diseases here inside uh, this disease drop down on load so close this rows window now because we don't need further anymore and now close this home screen also this sample also and now close this also close this also and then now uh, open the symptoms window so that's my symptoms window here you are going to add the symptoms and you have to load the disease first so on on load you have to load the disease so uh, do we have the diseases yes we have all the diseases already so where is that let me show you um, get diseases look all the diseases that you have entered should be picked up with the help of get diseases so what I can do I can come here and I can use a method main class sorry crude so crude is not coming no problem let me add it using crude and then crude dot uh, load list and in, in, in this load list you have to mention the procedure and what is the name of my procedure get diseases come here and paste it and then what you can do combo box uh, let us give the names to the combo boxes combo box sorry uh, disease text disease combo box and that's my symptom text simp text okay so both are now set it go to the code and write here disease combo box then it is asking you the value member so the value member is ID so the ID will be at the back end and the display member is the disease so look guys that's that's the benefit of object oriented programming and the modular approach you don't need to write again and again you are simply I am simply calling the methods that I have created at the beginning uh, and and if you do not have the are uh, if you are still not getting the idea how I have done this so you can go to the restaurant management system tutorials and verify from there also 
that I have done that code. I have picked up the code from there also, and I have created modules also uh, in this particular software. So now start, save it, and then uh, just open the symptoms window first and see whether the diseases are appearing or not. So login and the symptoms and add and if you see the disease are uh, the all the disease that you can see you can uh, select from the disease uh, select uh, from this drop down list now uh, the symptoms that i have to add and the insert and update and delete so for that purpose uh, let us uh, copy the save the update the deletes and all that so let me first okay it's better to do clean work so let us go to sample 2 again and then copy from the save button till here copy it and go to the symptoms and paste it select virtual replace it with uh, press ctrl s to replace uh, pop up will appear and override so i have replaced and now save and now simply go to the save button copy this all okay and then uh, come here and paste and here what you wanted to do you wanted to import the hash table by pressing control dot using system dot collections or write it directly on the top and then uh, for symptoms let us go to the symptoms that's my insert symptoms okay so uh, here you need only two things the symptom parameter that is this and here you can write symptom text dot text okay and then you need an other thing that is the disease id so convert dot two integer 32 and then disease combo box dot selected value because i have the id at the back end of the combo box dot two string and then here you should write did if i'm not wrong yes did is the thing and then uh, the procedure name should be changed from this to this okay save and then the symptom text copy it paste it and save it and now you have to do uh, the same task of the load disease if you notice here guys what are you passing here you are passing your list box so what if if i create a global method and i just pass the list box but the problem is uh, again the hash table you can use the hash table for this also T all right so uh, you can do that copy it you can make it global also so paste it here so uh, this is my load symptoms symptoms and then here i wanted to uh, see the load symptoms that's my load symptoms and now one so first thing is the symptom id so right here copy it and paste it so symptom id gv and then paste it and then the next thing is the symptom so you have to write here symptom gv okay so symptom gv and then the next thing is the disease id that's my disease id and then my disease gv and, and copy and paste that's it so load symptoms so here you can write load symptoms load symptoms okay that's fine so for insert this will happen insert symptoms is there symptoms added successfully reset loaded unable to save record that's it and now for update for update you need these two things as it is and one more thing that you need is the symptoms id so um, let me copy and paste and you have to add an uh, id here that is integer 64 because symptom id i have taken in integer so symptom id okay let me write here complete name symptom id and then you can specify symptom id here so symptom id that's it and the parameter name for update symptom is s uh, did and sid okay so symptom is there s y m p t u m s y m p t u m 
then DID and then SID so it should be SID then it's fine and then um, instead of update disease you write here update symptom copy it and then paste it here you write symptom text paste it and load symptoms that's it so update and insert task completed and now what you can do the delete so come here at disease and go to the delete button copy it and paste it here you need to delete to pass the parameter is SID so here you write SID and here you provide symptom ID symptom ID okay and instead of delete this you can um, write here copy and paste okay so delete symptom and then copy this symptom text and paste it here and copy this name and paste it here simple so that's it and one more thing is this and one more thing that is the grid click so click here go to the events cell click come inside go to diseases go to the cell click copy it and paste it okay so that's it now um, that's my symptom id and it should be 64 and it should be symptom id gv symptom id gv okay and then uh, you need uh, simp text dot text is equals to and copy this and paste it here and here you can write symptom gv okay and then uh, the disease gv is there so disease gv should not be like this disease combo box okay let me apply semicolon now and now you write disease combo box dot selected value is equals to uh, disease id gv okay so whatever the id will be uh, it will be stored as the value at the back end now it's fine okay so disease id will also there and the name of the disease will also be displayed at combo box now uh, symptom id symptom text disease and all things now now it's finished now let's go and check what has happened login symptoms save so validations are there add validations are removing and now symptoms so okay, okay, i have done a spelling mistake in the label of symptom okay so no problem i will leave, i will set it so symptom let's say headache or chest pain because i have cough chest pain that's it that's a symptom and the disease is cough and then click save chest pain added and then this is applied here and then when you click here the details are loaded also and when you click once again add and when you write here chest pain again chest pain and then the disease is cough and when you save it it said that you are you cannot add the duplicate uh, symptom on the same disease but uh, when you uh, click here when you write here let's say um, uh, what I write let me write here okay uh, yes one more thing right here a uh, fatigue let's say so uh, if I write here and then click save so look uh, now two symptoms are added with the disease cuff so when I select the cuff or when I write the symptom that cuff disease should uh, display uh, in the future work okay so that's what I have done up till now what why I have used these two windows the, the big question is that because I have another window that is the checkup and that will be that will be used by the doctor so hold your breath and have a look at this okay so guys this is a huge effort that I have already created for you people uh, and now uh, let me demonstrate this uh, checkup window in this checkup window what I have done I have uh, first 
uh, the, the, this window is for the doctor okay so the doctor come here and then select the date and then uh, based on that particular date because today's date is already appearing here so uh, all the patients that that are in the pending mode will be displayed here and when you select the particular patient its history along with the previous checkups and then the last appointment date to whom it he or she consulted before the pulse the temperature the blood glucose sugar and then the prescription internal external and the symptoms that he had mentioned in the previous appointment and the diseases that he had mentioned in the previous appointment and then the scans or the labs uh, lab test whatever the doctor recommends him or her uh, all the things will be displayed so that the doctor can be easily able to understand uh, what was uh, the previous history of that particular patient now uh, after that uh, let's say it's time for new checkup so all the diseases i will display here that's why i have so made so much efforts and now what i can do uh, the diseases you the doctor can add directly from at the back end that's the data entry work so anybody can do that but uh, for another feature that i will going to use here is let's say a doctor wanted to add a new disease let's say fever so when the doctor will write fever and then click add button so this fever will be added inside this list box and also if it exists in the database in the disease table so it will it will not be added if it does not exist it will added also directly from here from this window by the doctor the diseases okay and then uh, the doctor will check up of course the pulse and the temperature and the blood glucose and then all the things that's blood glucose i will i will change it no problem the sugar levels uh, the diabetes okay and then the symptoms same is the case for symptoms if the symptom doctor is writing is new and when we when he press the add button the symptoms should display here and um, it also uh, uh, insert will be inserted into the database also okay and if the symptom exists already then nothing will happen i hope it is clear to everyone and then the doctor will grow, provide the medicines so all the medicine that i have added in the previous windows should be displayed here with respect to internal and with respect to external that means the uh, medical store uh, or the antibiotics or other medicines uh, other than the doctor uh, in internal clinic medicines okay and you can see here the dosage uh, i have mentioned here in two languages because i have global audience and i have the local audience also on of my homeland and my country so uh, for my particular country i have mentioned it in urdu subah raat neend se pehle and all that whatever the doctor can will prescribe with respect to every medicine so uh, any option you can select uh with, with respect to this so morning at night before sleep and morning and evening two times and three times and once a day before meal or if any of the option is not compatible then you can select the other also and you can mention the other uh prescription criteria and then that same is the case for the external prescription doctor have to just and select and uh, or enter a new medicine the medicine can be added directly from this place no problem and then uh the remarks any special remarks the doctor wanted to mention here and then last is the fees uh, the reason why i have i, I have uh, given a text box here for fees because most of the doctors here in uh, when we, they are running clinics they are, they mention the fee on the on the receipt that they provide the paper they provide so uh, that's why i have left this option it's it's your choice uh, that you can uh, specify the fees at the back end in a table and then recall the fees for every patient uh, respectively okay so uh this is the whole picture in front of you and then uh, i one more thing that i have done i will i will demonstrate this whole window and the working of this window in the next video inshallah so uh when the doctor starts an appointment i have already created another window that is the turn screen so you you can see uh this screen will display uh, at the uh, at somewhere on the wall uh, on a large large screen this window will be displayed and the current patient that is being consulted by the doctor the number of that patient will be Uh, displaying it just like we go in banks and we go uh, somewhere in other uh, corporate environments we see the similar uh, turn number so that uh, we can avoid mismanagement and the problem and miscommunication between the uh, patients and the management okay so hopefully you have understood uh, that how can we create uh, such a good thing and such a software and uh, what are the uh, pros uh, what are the things what are the constraint that we should have to know okay so uh, hopefully you have understood this if you do not understand anything please do write me uh, and if you haven't sub subscribed my channel yet so hit the subscribe button and do press the bell icon so that you will you will never miss my uh, upcoming and later uh, future tutorials so thank you so much take care allah hafiz